You are watching Tutor Midge. Let us study to how to factor out a square trinomial with a positive last term. So example, we have here 4x squared plus 12x plus 8. Step 1, we are going to divide the terms with the leading coefficient if possible. If not, divide the terms with the common divisor. So let us try 4. So let us divide everything by 4. Now dividing 4x squared by 4, we can have now the simplified form x squared plus 3x plus 2. For step 2, the first thing we'll do is to factor the first term. Okay, we have here x squared, so we'll factor that out. So we have x and x. Now, factor the last term considering the sum of the factors as the middle. Okay, so the factors of 2 is of course 2 and 1. So when we add up 2 and 1, we get 3. So that is now correct. Now, for the next one, we have to carry the sign of the middle term as operation of the binomial factors. Since we have here positive, meaning we have 2 plus operation inside our binomial factors. Now for step 3, we just simply rewrite the factors preceded by the common divisor in step 1. So this 4 now will be written here. We have 4 times x plus 2 and then we have x plus 1. Therefore, 4x squared plus 12x plus 8 has the factors 4 times x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now, let's have another example. So, we have here 5x squared minus 35x plus 60. Okay, so let's have the first step. Divide the terms with the leading coefficient if possible. And if not, divide the terms with common divisor. So, this time, we can divide everything by 5. Therefore, let us divide it by 5. And simplifying this one, we got x squared minus 7x plus 12. For step 2, we are going to factor the first term. So x squared will have x and x. And then we factor out the last term. So take note, if we factor out this one, we should have the sum of the factors as the middle term. So what are the factors of 12 wherein if we are going to add them up, it will sum up to 7. Okay, so we have here 4 and 3. Now, for the sign, we have to carry the sign of the middle term as the operation of our binomial factor. So we have x minus 4 there and x minus 3. So for step 3, we are going to rewrite factors preceded by the common divisor 5. So we're going to put there 5 and then carry x minus 4 and x minus 3. Therefore, 5x squared now minus 35x plus 60 is equal to 5 times x minus 4 times x minus 3. Now let's have a square trinomial with a negative last term. So for example, we have here 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So our step one is to divide the terms with the leading coefficient if possible. And if not, divide the terms with the common divisor. So checking that one, all terms can be divided exactly by 3. So let us divide that. Now, our simplified form will be x squared plus 2x minus 3. For our step 2, we are going to factor out the first term. So, let us factor x squared. We have x and x. Now, for the last term, factor the last term considering the difference of the factors as the middle term. So, factors of 3, when subtracted, the result is the middle term. So, we have 3 and 1. Now, 
Since the last term is negative, the operation inside the binomials, binomial factors will be plus and minus. So, 1 is plus, 1 is minus. But, let us take a look at the middle term. If this is positive, meaning the bigger number, the bigger factor of 3 will bear the plus operation. So, we have here x plus 3 and x minus 1. So, for our step 3, we just simply rewrite the factors preceded by the common divisor 3. So, we have here 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. So, meaning we have 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. Like and subscribe.